Transitional Epithelium H and E staining. The transitional epithelium found in the urinary tract, the bladder and ureter, is also known as the urethelium. Depending on the species, it is classified as simple, pseudostratified, or stratified epithelium. It is referred to as stratified cuboidal epithelium in humans. The specimen shows animal tissue. Therefore, the transitional epithelium will be referred to as pseudostratified. Transitional epithelium is a type of simple epithelium, which means that each cell rests on the basement membrane. However, since it is made up of cells of different heights, some of which do not reach the lumen of the lined organ, the cell nuclei, which are stained purple, will occur at different levels. This creates a misleading impression that there are multiple layers of cells. The name of this epithelium is associated with changes in its structure and appearance, reflecting the degree of bladder filling. The cells form five to six layers in an empty bladder, while this number is reduced to two or three in a filled bladder. The surface layer of the transitional epithelium is formed by the so-called umbrella cells whose shape becomes flat in a distended bladder, covering even several cells of the deeper epithelial layers with a layer of cytoplasm. The cell membrane of the apical surface of umbrella cells has thickenings made of proteins called uroplaquins, which are a hallmark of this site. This is a group of proteins that form plaques covering about 90% of the epithelial surface. Since uroplaquins are extremely resistant to various chemical factors that may cause denaturation, their primary function is to protect the urinary tract against the adverse effects of urine. In H&E staining, uroplaquin plaques are poorly visible, and their presence can only be evidenced by a darker band of cytoplasm in the apical part of umbrella cells. Individual subtypes of uroplaquins can be detected using specific antibodies in immunohistochemistry. The above mentioned methodology is used for the detection of urinary tract tumors, where increased expression of these proteins is now a recognized diagnostic marker.